Yo, what is good, YouTube? Christian checking back in with another video. If you're watching this video, go ahead and drop a like, drop a sub, and drop a comment as well. Now, I'll be coming at you with my 2021 Arnold Classic predictions for Classic Physique. I've just done my open predictions. You guys can check it out on my page. It's the last video. And now I'm going to come at you with the Classic Physique athletes. So first, I'm going to read off all of these athletes. We have Alex Combranero, your defending Arnold Classic champion. Jared Crew, Logan Franklin, Brian Jones, Fabian Meyer, Peter Molner, Courage Opara, Terrence Ruffin, Tony Tavares, as well as Danny Yunin. Now, this is a very interesting lineup for me, and at a point, it was almost harder for me to place these guys than it was to place the open guys. I actually had to go into a pick collage and collage a lot of these guys side by side, pose by pose, before I made this top six. So not only am I excited for the open class, but I'm actually very excited to see the classic division at the Arnold Classic. So without further ado, let me get into the top six. And in sixth place, I have Danny Union. Now looking at his recent updates on Instagram, Danny definitely looks amazing. He looks like he's put some size onto his back and it looks like he's gonna come in crazy condition. I believe Danny placed sixth at last year's Mr. Olympia. I'm not exactly sure about that. But Danny is very classic, has a very pretty classic physique, and he could place up a little bit, but I'm going to take him in sixth place and uh, excited to see what he's going to bring to the stage, man. I honestly think he could be a dark horse. This guy could place a lot higher than sixth, but I'm going to place him in sixth place. And in fifth place, I have Logan Franklin. And you guys know I love Logan's physique. He's one of my favorite classic physique athletes. But take into account that Logan placed, I believe, ninth at last year's Mr. Olympia. That means he was every guy pretty much in this lineup, Terrence Ruffin, Alex Cabernero, Brian Jones, and Danny Union all placed above him at last year's Mr. Olympia. Now, Logan is a great athlete, and Logan has made improvements this offseason, but I don't think the one-year improvement that he has made is going to be enough to be a contender in classic physique. Once Logan feels out his frame, he will definitely be winning Arnold's and maybe even Olympia's. But it's not Logan's time yet, so I'm going to take him in fifth place. And in fourth place, I have Brian Jones. And just think about it, guys. Does Logan Franklin beat Brian Jones? Brian Jones placed fifth at last year's Mr. Olympia. Logan Franklin placed ninth. And the Brian Jones that we saw at the Olympia – and taking into account that Logan Franklin wasn't the best versions, but Brian has improved, and he was four places ahead of Logan last year. So I don't believe Logan catches up that fast. Definitely if Logan comes in condition and brings a crazy posing routine, he may be able to edge out Brian. But Brian has crazy round his man. He looks a lot bigger than what he weighs. He looks like he's around 250 pounds. And I'm excited to see what Brian is going to bring to the show. But the reason I have him in fourth is just because the guys ahead of him have, I feel like, better posing as well as more classic lines, and I feel like they'll be more conditioned to him. Brian just leaves a little more muscle maturity and a little separation in his quads, and he'll be good to go. And in third place, I have Alex Cambronero, your defending Arnold Classic champion. And honestly, no hate towards this guy. I'm not a huge fan of his physique. But the judges seem to like it. He won last year's Arnold Classic. And he plays very high last year's Mr. Olympia, I believe, fourth place. He has a very tiny waist. He has a very great back, and he comes in condition. He has, honestly, an amazing physique. Just because I'm not a fan of it doesn't mean I'm saying he's bad. But he's a top guy for a reason, man. But I'm going to take him in third in his lineup because the guys I have ahead of him, I just believe they have better presentation. And that's about it. He, Alex comes in pretty conditioned, so I don't think they're going to out-condition him. I just think the top two guys are going to outpose him. So, Alex Hambernero in third place. And in second place, I have Peter Molnar. And honestly, I believe if Peter is the look that they're looking for, Peter can win this show. But I believe my first place guy just has so much presentation skills, and I just believe he's going to edge Peter out. Now, I could be completely wrong, and this could not be the look that they're looking for, and Peter could place very low in this lineup. But honestly, man, I don't see how this guy makes the weight cap. And Peter is about 5'9", so he isn't the shortest guy, and he isn't the tallest guy. So he may be the perfect person to challenge Chris Bumstead. A lot of people say he's a shorter Chris Bumstead, but I'm very excited to see what Peter is going to bring to the stage and definitely excited to see him at the Mr. Olympia. So 
Peter Molnar in second place. And I'm pretty sure by now you guys figured out who I have winning the show. Terrence Ruffin, Ruff Diesel. Now, I believe Terrence comes in and wins this 2021 Arnold Classic. I'm not sure exactly how he didn't win last year versus Alex Cambronero. I believe Alex came in a little more conditioned. But as far as just having a classic look, and Terrence is classic physique. Terrence has a classic look. He's definitely the best poser in the IFBB. Logan Franklin may be the second best poser, honorable mention. But I'm excited to see what Terrence is going to bring to the stage, man. This is classic physique, just the presence, the posing, everything about Terrence is classic physique. Muscle for muscle, a lot of these guys can beat him, and potentially they may place ahead of him. It just depends on how it goes. But as far as having the overall classic look and just being classic, this is definitely Terrence Ruffin. So that's going to be my predictions for the Arnold Classic, Classic Physique Division, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Am I going crazy, man, or am I right? You guys let me know. Like, comment, and sub. I'm out.